Land preparation is the activity of preparing your land in readiness for the seed. We prepare land in readiness for the seed for several purposes. One is to be able to remove the weeds that are there and also to be able to remove the crop residues or rather have the crop residues incorporated into the soil. And uh, the other one is to get finer soil that is able to ensure that your crop germinates and does not uh, die in the soil. The first step when establishing forages is selection of land. And you want to select your land much closer to the cows, where you feed the cows. That is the first step. When selecting land, you need land that has well-drained soils, that is free of trees, that is free of bushes and stones. That is the best land for production of the forages. After you've chosen your land, you go now to land preparation. In land preparation, there are three main steps involved. And the first step is bush clearing or rather shredding. In shredding, we use a shredder. And uh, a shredder does what we call chopping of the crop residues and weeds that are, are on, the, on the land after harvesting. The advantages of shredding is that you are able to chop these crop residues. You don't have to remove it. You don't have to burn it. So you leave it in the farm. This one ensures that your organic matter remains in the farm. The next step after shredding is uh, plowing. And in plowing, you can use a number of tools. We have a moldboard plow. You can use a moldboard plow. You can also use a disc plow and you can also use a chisel. In this case, we advocate for chisel plow because with chisel plow, you are able to preserve your soil moisture, you are able to control uh, soil erosion, you are able to preserve your soil organic matter on top of the soil, but also, the most importantly, you are able to break your hard pan. Normally when we do chiseling, we want our tines to go 25 to 30 centimeters deep for it to break the hard pan so that our crops are able to grow deeper. The third step in land preparation is harrowing. So after chiseling, you come in with a harrow, you run with a harrow, this is considered a final step of land preparation. You can assess and uh, see if the first harrow is enough. But if it is not enough, you go again with the second harrow. The second harrowing can happen immediately, but it is preferable to give five to one week interval, so that it is able to break all the soil clothes. You harrow your land because you want to break the soil clothes, but also to be able to get a leveled field. Leveled seedbed ensures that your germination rates are increased but also they, they will be uniformity in growth of the plants.